This is hydrogen tap. Doing another experiment with frequencies. And still, like everybody else, I guess I'm still interested in seeing if that really works. I have this double coil here that I'm running the frequencies through first and I'm taking the back EMF off of that and running it to this bridge and then taking that and then running it to the two plates. There's enough electrolyte in here to boil this over if I was to put a, an air and cell in here straight but with the frequency in here, you're going to see that it really doesn't do much. I'm going to turn it on now. We've got uh, 9 amps, 9.95 amps going through. the battery and it's pulsed in the megahertz range. I'm going to bring it back to the kilohertz. We're at around 163 kilohertz now and you'll watch it clear up a little bit. Sorry, 100 uh, hertz, not kilohertz. Now we're at the kilohertz. I'm moving the frequencies around, see if I get anything. It's around the 22 kilohertz side, still nothing. We're at 218 kilohertz. You can see we're getting a, a little action out of here. through the frequencies here. We're running at 9.77 amps at 218 kilohertz. Now I'm going to stop that Let it cool down for a minute. What I'm going to do is run it directly off the battery. Get all this off of here. Remember, that was running off the back EMF. So take that for whatever it's worth. And what I'm going to do now is run it straight off the battery. I haven't moved the plates. And we'll try it again.
that's the what you're looking at there is the amps as you can see there's more hydrogen coming off of this straight than on that frequency using the back MF. Now I'm going to use the frequency straight and we'll see what happens to that. Okay, I'm set up again and this time I'm going straight using the kilohertz and the meter is not going to be very accurate in this case but we'll still see what happens to the hydrogen side. I'm at uh, 2 kilohertz. We're going to turn it on now. Changing it to 22 kilohertz. Changing it to 218 kilohertz. And we're at 4 amps. That's at 218 kilohertz. I'm going to let it set, turn it off for a minute. Anything that's over four amps is going to give us hydrogen. Okay, it's settled down. And what I'm going to do is change it to uh, megahertz scale. Turn it on again here. Running at four amps. Okay, before we get too interested in this, I'm going to turn it off. Okay, it's cleared up somewhat. Now I'm going to run it straight. No frequency. It's going to a 12 volt battery and those are two plates, three by six. Same two plates we've been watching. 3.94 amps and You can see what's happening here. As far as I'm concerned, the frequency hasn't done anything to this. We get more hydrogen out of the straight battery. I'm going to take a reading on the battery in just a second. Okay, that uh, 1244 is the battery. I'm going to put the leads back over here so it turns it on. You can see the voltage drop. The battery 11.78, that's across the plates. The 4.13 is the amperage. This is straight battery on a two plate Aaron cell. That's 3 by 6 that's laying on the side. And you can see.